everybody and welcome to Drag Queen Story Hour. I'm not like, like the other boys at my school. I like pink and nail polish and dresses and then people would tease me and I came back sad every day. It was very rigid rules of behavior for what boys are supposed to do and what girls are supposed to do. Kids that are being raised today, they have more opportunities to discover who they really are. One time, the main guy of the entire group that had like bullied me, he pushed me into a smart board. It was mostly physical, right? Yeah. Them saying stuff didn't really bother you. Yeah, them trying to hurt me was my was the biggest thing. So there was a, there was a while that it was kind of hard. You were getting teased a lot, and you didn't feel like you were accepted. Yeah, time. I'm 62 years old. I grew up in Alabama in 1956, and that was a completely different time for a trans person, for someone who was aware of their uniqueness at an early age but had no support for that. Your parents, were they accepting of the transition? Well, the short answer is no, but it's not because of cruelty or anything like that. It was because of ignorance, really. I want to read today, I Am Jazz, which talks about a young transgender girl's experience of coming into her own understanding of being transgender and how her family supported her in that journey. I actually have heard I Am Jazz before. Or my mom read it at our library. Parents who are afraid of this maybe don't understand how non-normative gender and sexuality work. Like if your kids are coming to a drag queen story hour, it's not gonna change who they are. For as long as I can remember, my favorite color has been pink. Anybody like pink? I like purple, blue, blue. Purple, blue, pink. Purple, pink. Purple. Really likes purple a lot. <laughs> purple, purple. I love to like put on makeup, up and jewel. And, and jewelry. I used to um, dress up in my mom's clothes and stuff like that and wigs. So it's fun. I've been doing it for a long time too. But you don't yet feel comfortable dressing up at, outside of home, huh? I don't really feel no good dressing like in the outdoors, but like in places like this, I would feel right at home. Kids really don't have any sort of until you teach them prejudices built in or anything like that. They're just experiencing the the day. And you come to something like this and you see Yolanda and it's kind of just kind of uh, this message of hey, it's really cool. It's what makes us, us, our differences. What is it like to come and see all these kids and see Yolanda? I felt like really happy, like I I just felt happy. Although I speak with tongues of men and angels, and though I prophesy... Why did you come today? Why is this so much fun? Well, she taught us how it's, like, it's okay to be different. It's okay to be different, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. People will still care for you the same, even if they're like rude to you. But like, you are still happy. And though I feed the poor and give up my life, if love has no place in me, then love divine. Thank you, my friends.